Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a process video for a flipbook. Um, you guys really seem to enjoy my flipbook videos and several of you have asked to see a process video. Um, so just a warning, <laughs> this is probably going to be a pretty long one because um, it usually takes me a while to make my flipbooks. But I'm going to go over just some of the tools and things and some general tips that I have first and then um, what I'll probably do is just speed up the um, actual making part and do like a voiceover and tell you guys what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and whatnot. I think that will help. Um, cut down on some of the time and kind of be more interesting. So first tip is if you do not have a lot of like scrapbooking supplies or you don't want to like go out and get things or you don't have a stash or whatever, or you just really want to make things super easy on yourself, I love these like scrapbooking paper kits. Um, I think in my pocket letter video I mentioned these as well and they're really really great. You get a whole bunch of different papers. Um, you also get, I'm going to try to zoom in, some um, like cut apart journaling cards, um, a bunch of alphas, some stickers and whatnot and I just find them to be a really good value especially if you want to I don't know, just use all kind of the same theme and stuff. So love these. I'm not going to be using this kit today. I'm going to be saving it for something else. I just wanted to share this with you guys in case you weren't aware that these existed. So I think this was like, I don't know, between 10 and $13 or something on Amazon. So you could probably get one like this even cheaper at Hobby Lobby or Michaels with a coupon or whatever. And then some of my favorite tools to use are things like these Tombow tape runners. I love their permanent adhesive. Um, I also have it in the removable and the extreme, but today I'm going to be trying out this new version of their permanent mono adhesive roller or whatever. So we're going to be using this. I love my EK Tools um, super sharp scissors. I use these all the time and I love this brand. I also use my Tim Holtz tiny attacher all the time. I love this thing. I'm so grateful I have it and I highly recommend it. I also love the Tombow little adhesive dots. These are really handy and I've used a bunch already so I'm always reaching for these. I also like foam tape for if I want to make something more dimensional. This is really cool. Of course a bunch of washi um, that coordinate with the things that I'm going to be using and then throughout the video if I use a different tool or something I'll make sure to let you guys know. So the collection that I'm going to be using today is the Dear Lizzie Happy Place collection. I love this collection. I've already used it a bunch of times um, so I'm really familiar with it and I think that might just help the video go a little bit quicker. Um, but what I like to do is kind of make my own scrapbooking kit. So Iris has these like um, like 12, they hold 12 by 12 papers, but they're like the scrapbooking clear containers that you see at Michael's on sale all the time. They're just like a couple of inches deep or whatever. So it just keeps all of the supplies together that I know that I want to use like at the same time. So I've chucked in my latest freckled fawn thing. I've got some stickers, more stickers, kind of embellishments. Um, puffy stickers, word stickers. Um, I got this iris like separator container. I don't know. It has like these little like dividers in it and whatnot. So I just went through all of my stash and just pulled a bunch of things, you know, that I thought I could use for this whole collection. They coordinate, you know, and I just put a whole bunch of stuff in here. There's like a bunch of puffy stickers. Um, I divided the ephemera pack into like the greens and yellows and then pinks and purples. There's some wood chip things, a little, I don't know, ephemera deals, more wood chips, more wood chips, little random doodads. Um, these are a bunch of like enamel dots, like card, I don't know what these are, cardstock stickers or chipboard stickers, whatever. And then just like a bunch of random like flares and ribbon and more enamel dots and just things that I know will go with the paper collection that I can just quickly grab and it's all in one place and I don't have to search for it. So I definitely recommend the iris container as well as a little separator thing. I believe they have these at Michael's as well. So these are like the embellishments that I'm going to be using. And I love these containers too because they can fit the entire 12 by 12 paper pad. So it's nice to keep everything again together. And I also keep the scraps in here from previous projects using these same papers because I might be able to use them, you know, in the next project. So I have a bunch of those. And then I know that I really love using um, these Heidi Swat glitter papers with this whole collection. So again, I just 
keep them all in here together because I know I'm going to be reaching for it anyway. So I'm going to kind of reorganize my little workstation here and then I will be back with the actual flipbook process video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So first I'm going to start by scoring up some envelope flaps. Um, I scored two of them at a quarter of an inch um, away from the fold, one at three eighths of an inch, and then one more at one eighth of an inch. And I do this that way there is like a built-in gusset for when I go to fill up my flip book. And I learned how to make this um, envelope style flipbook from my friend Sabrina Ann. She has a tutorial video over on her channel, so I will leave a link to that below so you guys can check it out if you want like a slower kind of walkthrough of how to do this. Um, the roller that I'm using is from Tombow. It's their new permanent adhesive plus, and I really do enjoy it. It has like a really cool like quick start action thing, and it's super precise, so I love it. So once I have all of the pages assembled, I just like to close it up to make sure it's exactly how I want it. And then I bring out my paper trimmer to cut, um, I don't know what they're called, pieces of paper that will fit on top of the envelope things to make it look cool. That's what we're gonna call it. So I'm gonna go with like a fruit theme for this one, again using the Happy Place um, giant paper pad that I just talked about. And I had kind of a hard time with this trimmer, you guys, because it was the first time I was using it and I felt like I kept messing up. So if you see some kind of wackiness happen, it's just, it was just me being dumb. So don't pay attention to that, okay? Yes. All of these papers I'm cutting down into um, three pieces that measure four and a quarter by five and a half each because that will fit just on top of the envelope page things um, but leave like a small white border around them so I, that's just how I like to do it I find it's easier to do it that way so but you can do it however you want and I'm saving um, the little the slightly smaller pieces because sometimes I can use those as I'm creating the flip book elements like flippy bits or pockets or covering up like the interior of the um, the main flap or whatever you will see so once I have all the papers um, cut to the right sizes that I want, I will take those pieces that I just cut and kind of arrange them on the open flip book and kind of see how I want to arrange them like on the actual flip book. I don't know because I don't like two papers to be right next to each other and I'm very particular <laughs> about the placement of the papers. Um, yeah, so, and I know I wanna use this leftover scrap of pink glitter paper, so I thought the cherries would go the best. And then again, out comes the Tombow glue, which you will probably see about 42 more times <laughs> in this video. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess because obviously I don't want that on there. And then I'm going to start um, putting the papers down. Some of them I'll put down permanently right away. Um, others I like to kind of play with them beforehand. And because sometimes I like to do pockets and things or things that require like staples or whatnot. And like I don't want the staples to show through. So if I know ahead of time that at, like one page I'm going to want something like that, I try to prepare it like off of the flip book. And then when it's all finally all said and done, then I'll glue it down like onto the page. If that makes any kind of sense, I don't know. I hope it does. See here, staples, that would not look good, right? Like just poking out the other side. So yeah, so I'm just using some of that leftover glitter paper. I just made a little pocket. I'm gonna put like some die cuts and things in here. And the little sunshine thing, I believe is from the Dear Lizzie collection, the little like happy little girl there. I just printed off a photo from the internets. And I don't know if you guys do this, but I usually like fiddle with stuff like a lot and try out different kind of combinations and things for the different pages that I want to make. Um, I tried to edit out a lot of that like indecision time because it would have just been a really long video. This page with the fruit background, I know I want to use one of those frames, so I'm just going to use my paper trimmer to cut those down so that they're nice and straight edged. Um, I'm still getting used to the trimmer. It's totally different from what I'm used to. So it's kind of a pain, but I'm sure I'll get it one of these days. Yeah, see, <laughs> things falling off and whatnot. So I'm just gonna kind of play with things, kind of set down some scraps of gold glitter paper. And I think that's a die cut from the set, the thing with the pineapple. And I just, you know, just fiddle around with it and see how I want it to look and kind of get a basic idea. 
that's just going to be a decorative page so I'm not too worried about like stapling things down or whatever and I also printed off this photo from the internet and I just cut out the center of the frame to make a really cute little frame because they were like the perfect size and I felt like they meant you know they were meant to go together and I just continue to like fiddle around with how things are layered. That's a wood veneer, I believe, from the Simple Stories, a Simple Stories collection of some sort. And the die cut is from Dear Lizzie. I don't think I wind up using the die cut. I can't remember. Um, but that little ticket is also from the Dear Lizzie Happy Place. And I love this black and white washi. I knew I wanted to use some black and white throughout the flip book just because like the watermelon seeds are black. And I love black and white, so I definitely want to make sure that I use some of that. And now that I kind of know how I want things to be arranged on the page, I brought out my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and just stapled those um, two things down to the glitter paper because glitter paper, y'all, does not like glue or tape or whatever. So I just find it really easy and a lot faster, honestly, to use a stapler. And then I can like tape down the little things to themselves or whatever. I'm not sure if I do that right now or later, but I'd use more tape at some point on this page. And I just stuck down the little what is that flamingo kind of over the staple to kind of hide it and I can't remember where these enamel dots are from but I love them because they are super bright and fun I think they're from freckled fun if I had to guess these little envelopes were a total find at um, Michael's because they fit perfectly inside of these like flipbook pages and I'm going to put my letter in there and maybe some other goodies and whatnot so I knew I wanted to use that, but I wanted to decorate it before putting it in the flip book just in case something happened and I wanted to change something that I could. So that's why I did that. And just layering down the washi to kind of be consistent from page to page a little bit. I love how this all turned out. I think it's so cute. And it says hello, which I think is really fun. And I love the contrast of the yellow and the blue. It just makes me so happy. And I'm pretty sure the Hello Wood Veneer is from like the $1.50 bin or whatever at Michael's. So I think it's a really great deal. I got a few packs of them, I'm not going to lie. And then that's pretty much it for this envelope. Just adding a few little enamel dot touches because I have to. I don't know, they're just so cute. So I'm going to do that and then it is time to put it into the flip book. And originally I wanted it on that page. Then I decided, no, I want it further in. So that's what I did. And then I just used that Tombow tape runner again. I use this thing so much, you guys. It's really cool. If you don't have it, you should totes get it. You will love it. I promise. And then just making sure it all closes up okay. And then I had some extra um, Dear Lizzie stickers. So I just made like a little, I don't know, it's kind of like a belly band, but I don't, not really, I don't know what to call it because it's at an angle. But Tim Holtz Tiny Thatcher comes to the rescue again and I just cut down, you know, the excess. And then I just had to add some thickers, you guys. It was gold thickers time and I could not say no. Um, I tried using the line them up on a ruler trick and then sticking down the tops and then pulling out the bottom of the ruler, but it did not work with these because they were like way too sticky. I don't know what the deal was. Usually I don't have a problem doing my little trick, but this time it just did not work so I had to lay them down by hand it was so sad oh my gosh and then of course some more washi because I just can't get enough and I did some more embellishing on here once I took off the extra washi I used some glitter stickers cannot remember where they're from I think I got them in a swap I don't know the sunny puffy sunny stickers are from my friend Anna Hello, Anna, 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 if you're watching. I love those stickers. They're almost gone, though. I've used so many of them. And then I just slid the stickers in there, and they seem to stay okay, but I put the little um, camera paper clip in there just to make sure. And, of course, I, you know, have to go back with some of my Freckle Fawn Gold Puffy Heart stickers, which I, you guys, I bought these in bulk. I could not live without them. And then I decided to be super creative and make, like, a little shaker pocket using a plastic envelope sleeve thing I don't know but then I dumped out way too much pink glitter and it just it got a little out of control from that point so there's a lot of glitter in here um, those are seed beads again from the dollar fifty bin at Michaels random sequins from my collection that I love more seed beads and yeah some like holographic ones I don't know gold of many sizes and shapes so cute and I'm sorry the camera kept going out of focus here 
And then I decided that sequins and glitter and beads were not enough, so I went into my stash and found some really cute little trinkets that I thought would work. And I just dumped all of the sequin shiny goodness in this bag. And you guys, it was very intense sparkle happening. And I totally like didn't realize how much glitter I put in there until like this moment. But I was like, screw it. I'm going to put this other stuff in here too. And this thing is just going to be totes epic. And my pen pal will love it. And it will be so great. But this Tombow glue like totally came in handy because it like stuck down like a boss. So I'm super grateful for it. So that just goes to show you that you you do not need a fuse tool to create epic messes of glitter and whatnots for your pen pals. So I just um, taped down that little backing piece of paper and I just glued on the plastic bag thing right on top of it and it, I think it worked out fine. It's super crazy intense fine and there's a lot going on in there and I don't know if you can even see all of it but you know, it's really cute and sparkly, so that's what really matters. And then I just used some washi to further hold it down, just in case, and to make it a little bit more cute. And then I decided it was time to add some of the Dear Lizzie Happy Place, like, cardstock sticker things. I don't know. But they're really cute, and I thought, you know, they're the perfect little touch to just further decorate it. And now I'm moving on to the next page that I'm going to be working on. Um, I wanted to make like a currently type style page. Um, so I grabbed some Project Life cards that coordinate and some of those um, Dear Lizzie alphas. Those are not the ones I'm sending to my pen pal. So they're not like I'm not sending someone used up sticker sheets. These are like my own. So um, I'm using those and then some alphas from A Beautiful Mess. And I'm writing summer faves on there in that little number card back there. I'm going to write down 10 of like my summertime favorites because I thought that'd be kind of fun to share. So that's what I did. I used that Micron pen, which I love. And I'm just fiddling with more glitter paper because that's what I do. And just, you know, layering it. More staples. You guys catch my drift by now, right? You know my MO. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to, um, again, cover up this staple with a sticker. Gold puffy heart. I feel like I have my own little formula <laughs> of how I create stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then um, some black and white washi. And this is just a fun little decorative like flippy card I'm making. There's not anything like on there or whatever. But my pen pal can take it out if they want and use it in another project or just leave it. I don't know. I don't usually do a ton of flippy things. So at this point, I decided it was a good time to make sure that my flipbook would stay closed. <laughs> so I used this little eyelet thing, and I got it from eyeletoutlet.com. I'll leave a link to it down below, but it's like a self-opening, I don't know, eyelet thing. You don't need like a machine or, I don't know, a device of some sort to close the eyelet. It just does it on its own. So I punched out a one inch circle of coordinating paper and put a hole in the middle of it, and then my little hole puncher wouldn't quite fit and I just there see so cute right yes and then you just punch it through you know the top of the flap or whatever and I'll get to it eventually I promise all right there we go oh no I forgot the string ah so yeah make sure you put the string in there <laughs> before you put the little eyelet mechanism and then um, the metal on the back side of the eyelet thing is really soft so you can just push it down with your scissors or a pen even you don't need like a fancy smushy machine which I think is really cool which is also why I got them because I have enough stuff in my craft room I don't need a lot more tools and things so I glued down the little string put down some more tape runner and then um, stuck some coordinating scrap paper on the back of it to cover up the um, inside of the flap similar to how I did the pink glitter paper on the front. Just trim down the sides, close it all up. Oh, see, I promised you more tape there. There you go. <laughs> Made sure it closed up how I wanted it to, wrapped it around a few times, cut the string, tie a knot at the end so it doesn't get all wacky and whatnot in the mail. And then I realized that I didn't decorate the back and just can't have that in my world. So um, I'm using, again, the tape runner to glue down some really cute watermelon paper, which I think is so adorable, I can't even. And then these are two die cuts from the Dear Lizzie Happy Place collection. And I'm using my Micron pen again just to write my name and when I made this flip book. Because I think it's kind of cool for whoever gets this to like be able to look and see 
look back in time and see who made it and when. And then I was about to stick this down with more tape runner. I was like, no, I need washi. Hello. It's kind of like a consistent theme throughout this thing. I cannot believe I almost forgot washi, you guys. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> and then you know, more gold puffy hearts is always better in my opinion. And then I realized I forgot to decorate the front. So again, more washi. And yeah, and I just layered up that black and white one from Scotch. This pink one is from me and my big ideas. The stickers from Dear Lizzie Happy Place. More puffy hearts. More enamel dots. More is more. And that's pretty much it. All right, you guys. So this is my finished flip book. I hope you enjoyed the process video of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through it again, just really quick so you guys can see, because I'm not sure how clear it was since things were so sped up. This is what it looks like. And this is really pretty glitter paper. And um, I used all the Dear Lizzie things and I covered up the back of this eyelet thing. Right here is a pocket and there's just some like Project Life cards, a few die cuts, some of these um, sequin heart things from Freckled Fawn. Right here is just kind of a decorative, I don't know, page or whatever. <laughs> um, right here it says summer faves and I thought it would be cool to list um, some of my summertime favorite things to do or whatever. Just a little flippy card here that they can take out if they want to. Right here it says stickers. Um, so I had an extra set of these Dear Lizzie stickers um, for the Happy Place collection or whatever. So I just folded those in half and stuck them in there. Right here is an envelope and I don't know if you caught these earlier but they are from Recollections. Um, they were on clearance and they just happen to fit perfectly inside of these Recollections um, envelope. So this is the flip book that I made and I wanted to do a fun giveaway um, for you guys. So if you made it all the way through this video and you like flip books as much as I do, you have a chance to win this flip book and I'm going to add more things to it and whatnot. Um, but it's really easy to enter the giveaway. You have to be a subscriber to my channel, Pop Fizz Paper, and um, all you have to do to enter is to leave a comment down below with your favorite summertime activity. And what I will do is respond to your comment with a number and that will be your entry number for when I do the drawing for the winner. I'm not sure when this video will actually be going up on my channel, so I'm going to leave the um, giveaway deadline date or whatever the day it ends right here Ooh. so make sure you enter by this date and I will choose a winner very soon after the giveaway is over and I will message you via YouTube messaging so please make sure you're able to receive messages and please make sure that I'm able to reply to your comment I think you can check that in the settings and whatnot. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this process video, much requested process video, and that you weren't too bored. Um, it really does take me a long time to make these things. I don't know why. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Um, and then back here, I just made this little pocket thing and I just stuffed it full of stuff.